Hi, I'm Aaron Pinado, Risk Management Bureau Chief with the New Mexico Department of Transportation. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to help us keep our state roads uh, beautiful and clean by helping us pick up litter. For your safety, we want to make sure everybody's wearing their assigned uh, or provided materials, safety material, PPE, personal protective equipment, which includes at minimum your vest, some gloves, thick soled shoes, a long shirt, and pants. You never want to wear any type of clothing that will divert attention from the motorists, from the traveling public. We ask that participants be at least 18 years of age, provided that participants between the ages of 12 and 17 participate only with written permission of a parent or guardian, and be in the company of a designated supervisor, one adult for every five minors, through the course of the litter pickup. Do not encroach within five feet of the pavement edge, as that is a, not a safe place to be when you're conducting these operations. You always wanna face the traffic, the oncoming traffic when you're performing these operations. That way you can see if any vehicle is encroaching into your work area. Just as a reminder also in this hot weather, take plenty of breaks and stay well hydrated. We don't want anybody to develop any type of heat sickness, heat exhaustion, uh, and it's, it's very easy to do in this type of weather. Always wear sunscreen, especially on hot days. Be alert for snakes, insects, and again, don't approach those. Notify the coordinator, stay well clear of those. You want to avoid any area with any type of noxious weeds or any area that might have just been recently herbicided. I want you to also ask that you notify the NMDOT coordinator in the event that you have any large immovable objects or any hazardous materials that may be present when you're conducting your trash pickup. You always want to use proper lifting techniques and, and, and ensure you're, you're lifting correctly and bending at the knee to avoid any potential injury. Stay with the group and not venture ahead or lag behind from the group. That way we sure ensure that everybody is in one cohesive area. If any rain's approaching or any inclement weather, including lightning, things like lightning, be sure and stop work immediately. Stay well clear of any construction zones. Do not encroach into any zones. You also do not want to do any activities outside the permitted area. So stay within the area that, that's, that's allotted for the operation and do not wander in front or behind the operation. Now something that volunteers should not do when they're participating in our, in our operations, our trash pickup operations, uh, is wearing headphones. Headphones can be very dangerous. They can impair your hearing and you might not be able to hear oncoming vehicles or uh, other particip participants help, uh, asking for help or warning you of when an oncoming vehicle is approaching. You never want to pick up trash on the pavement edge or encroach into the traveling lane. You don't want to pick up trash on bridges or overpasses or even under overpasses and bridges. Be alert for hazardous litter. Things like bottles uh, that are full of some unknown fluid, hypodermic needles, any of those type of items. You do not want to get near those. You want to report that to your coordinator and let uh, our crews take, ha take care of that. Never attempt to squeeze bags to make more room. Uh, injuries could result from jagged glass or those type of things. You could get cuts, lacerations, so we want to avoid doing that. If you need more bags, notify your coordinator and they'll be happy to provide you with bags. Never alter, modify, or change any type of traffic control devices, uh, including signs. These signs help uh, notify traveling public that this trash pickup operation is happening. So it, it, it's there for your protection. So please do not move any of those signs. Above all, I'd like to thank everyone for participating. Uh, we remind you to try and keep safe. And we thank you for doing your part in keeping New Mexico clean.